Victoria's Secret Angels, the most beautiful woman in the world. Gorgeous, confident, sexy, flawless. I want to be like them, act like them, eat like them, live like them. But what does that really mean? Be skinny, be fit, be desirable, be beautiful, be perfect, be unrealistic. The world famous Victoria's Secret fashion show will officially no longer It is time to say goodbye to the Victoria's Secret fashion show. No more glittery runway walls, no more angel wings. After nearly 25 years, the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show has been cancelled. Has been cancelled. Has been cancelled. To be honest, there were a lot of problems with the show. Lack of diversity, lack of genuine representation of real women and our bodies. And there's nothing wrong with being thin. There's nothing wrong with any body size. I think the problem was that there was no other types of bodies at all. Victoria's Secret isn't the problem. It was the idolization of this one perfect body, this one definition of beauty, and nothing else was good enough. And when I was 10, I didn't know I couldn't achieve this body. I thought exercise and restriction could get me there, make me happy and make me beautiful, and that truly destroyed me, my health, my self-worth, and it took me a long time to realize that I don't need to look like them to be loved by me, by my family, by my friends, and today I'm so proud of us. I think as a generation, as women, we have grown smarter and stronger, more empowered, more aware, more accepting of each other and the differences we have, and these changes stopped fueling my desire to change and started fueling my motivation to focus on self-love and self-worth instead. Fashion is a business of change. We must evolve and change to grow, so we've decided to rethink the traditional Victoria's Secret fashion show. Well, it's not just fashion that changes, but beauty and societal ideals, body positive movement is strong. Women are strong. Stronger than diet culture, stronger than Victoria's Secret. We now understand that there's more than one definition, look, color, gender, shape, size to beauty. Starting off with Gigi feels like a breath of fresh air because I feel like Gigi's just so fun and real, especially with her view of fitness and food. Like she's pretty normal for a famous multi-millionaire fashion model. She wakes up at 7 a.m. bright and early and hits the gym because she's basically a boxing beast. It's a cold world, baby, and I'm just getting heated. So I'm the only one I ever really needed. I gotta find a way out of this broken position. I stay with I mean, yes, it's her job to stay in shape, but she also likes to feel strong. She's not afraid of breaking a sweat looking like a wet tomato, and she said, For me, I celebrate strength, not only the physical, but mental and social. You have to nourish all parts of yourself. And no, it's not easy, but she works hard and she's extremely disciplined, but it just shows you that you can find time to work out if you truly want to. I got nobody to lean on, got a cold heart in a cold world. Ever since you left, I don't know what's next, I ain't found closer. I keep on that. Eyebrows are sweating. For breakfast, she said she loves scrambled eggs, bacon, and toast. And she drinks a lot of orange juice and coffee. No smoothie bowls or green juice or overnight oats. Instead, we are having bacon. Gigi is just so realistic when it comes to food, and it's kind of comforting to see a woman like her that's associated with such a toxic and body-focused world promote such a positive relationship with food. Gigi. I never eat bacon. It's phenomenal. Mm, yeah. yeah, bacon is good. My love, you want some bacon? So, Gigi has two go-to lunches. It's either an arugula salad or a burger, and I wasn't about to pick a salad over a burger, so we're eating burgers. Is it good? Is it good? It was crazy. Mm. Oh. I think it's right here. Oh my god. Mm, it's like five. Oh my god. Oh my god. Mm. Last bite. Not for me. Oh the truth my. is, in my opinion, the times have changed. People honor their cravings and love realistic mm. meals and dessert and carbs aren't seen as bad things anymore. But models can't really do that all the time. But they want to stay relatable and not promote restrictions. So I'm assuming a lot of them lie about what they eat. Gigi says, if I'm telling people I'm boxing and eating a burger tonight, it's because I am. I'm not cheating and eating a salad and being like, yeah, burgers are cool. When models lie about their diet so they can be seen as relatable, it can kind of make their viewers feel even worse about ourselves. Because if all these models are just eating burgers and pizza every night and they look like that, we can't help but compare ourselves. With Gigi, I feel like she admits that she has to eat nutrient-dense whole foods to stay fit and healthy for her life and her job because our bodies need those nutrients. But, you know, we can have both. We can find balance and we can eat burgers too. 
Hi, I'm Candace Swanepoel. In my opinion, Candace is one of the most iconic Victoria's Secret models. She just looks, like, fierce, you know? Like, you don't want to mess with her. Yeah, she'd be the girl I run away from in high school. Definitely. So good. Candace says that other than working out really hard, which she does often, she loves yoga because it helps both your mental and physical well-being. I like that Candace admits, like most Victoria's Secret models, she works out a lot. Like, it's part of the job. She also admits that she was born with a fast metabolism, and instead of tracking her calories and being overly cautious with what she eats, she tries to listen to what her body needs and eats intuitively. She said she's always been in tune with her body, but we'll get back to that. Oh, that's what I need! Oh, yeah! It's who has the best peeled egg. Sure, I already failed. Can you go true and do it with that? Feeling the pressure, mommy? Oh my, look at Linda's. Okay! I think mommy's is slightly better. I think mine's the best. <laughs> Looks like it's been through like a whirlwind. Candace prioritizes breakfast as the most important meal of the day. Her choice of breakfast depends on her mood. Sometimes it's a smoothie or eggs or even grilled cheese. So obviously we're eating grilled cheese for breakfast because that is evidently the superior choice. Why does the world hate me? Can I still eat it? Okay. <laughs> what? You know what? It looks good. Yeah. Delicious. <laughs> even the part is, makes it better. For lunch and dinner, Candace has a rule. Eat something filling for lunch, like grilled chicken with brown rice and veggies, and her top dieting secret, guys, is that for dinner, it should be something lighter, like a fresh a salad very or soup. Fat she claims that this is good for your metabolism, especially if you plan on doing fasted cardio in the morning. Now, Candace says she listens to her body, and she also says her guilty pleasure is carbonara. I personally feel like having food rules that dictate and restrict what you can and cannot eat doesn't really sound intuitive to me. When you use words like guilty Pretty. pleasures, food rules, dieting Ooh. secrets, I could never Ooh, say that I'm in tune with my body. We're gone. Better not be. You rip us off. You're very upset. Maybe it's only on the top. So only one way we'll find out. We keep eating. I think there's no core. That's rude. Her diet rule of not eating too much before bed, not eating after whatever time, is one that I'm too familiar with. Yes, research has shown that eating too close to bedtime can potentially cause indigestion and sleeping problems, etc. I don't know, not a professional here, but it probably can, depending on the individual. However, this is diet talk. This is one rule of hundreds of rules that we've heard countless times over and over. Don't eat after eight, don't eat a big dinner, no sugars after this time. Younger me would take this information as fact and say, it's worth going to bed hungry. But now if my body's telling me I'm hungry and it's 11 p.m. and I'm literally in bed, I can eat. If you are hungry, you can eat. Trust your body, not a Victoria's Secret angel. When we think of Victoria's Secret, we all have that one model that pops into our heads, and for me, that's always been Miranda Kerr. I think she was the first Victoria's Secret model where I stopped and was like, holy freaking crap, she is so gorgeous, but she also just lives her life with such grace. She's absolutely beautiful, but she also just has such a beautiful and peaceful mind that I'm really inspired by. Miranda wakes up at 5.30 a.m. every day, <laughs> very aggressive, and then she says she opens her windows and stands on the balcony and gives thanks to the day. Then she does some meditation and yoga, which is very in right now. Like, if you don't meditate, it's really not a real morning routine. You know, I'm not a great meditator or yoga performer, but you know, we all need to start somewhere. Her day's then followed up by something that she must do every day, dry body brushing. I've never heard anyone say that as a health tip, so uh, extra creative points go to Miranda. Miranda also loves pancakes, so we love Miranda. The thing is, I thought my pancakes were small, and then I saw hers. So yes, we made the miniest pancakes in the history of banana pancakes. No! Then we also made a smoothie. I've never been a smoothie drinker. I'd rather much chew my food, but here we have Miranda's um, interesting smoothie creation. And like, as you can tell, I just wasn't a fan, but you know, the pancakes were decent, so I'd give the breakfast a seven out of 10. I really like the way Miranda sees food. Like, yes, it's extremely evident that she eats good food packed full of nutrients and healthy fats. I mean, she is also a certified nutritionist, so she says she tries her best to eat healthy the majority of the time so that she feels good and has more energy, but she also says it's important not to be too strict about it. Just do the best you can. I think that's really important. Just do the best you can, whatever that means for you. Different diets and ways of eating work for us and makes us feel good and energized. Try to take care of your body by doing more of what makes you feel good. Hi, hello. <laughs>
When I was growing up, I thought to myself, if only I looked like her, then maybe I would actually be confident. People would actually see me. Everyone has things that they don't love about themselves, but I think that as a woman, it's much healthier and more positive to focus on your good parts and the things you like about yourself and not pick yourself apart. When I used to read these quotes, I'd think, of course they love themselves, they're perfect, they don't have insecurities, but they're also just human. They're women living in the same culture and society we live in with the same pressures and the same expectations. It takes a strong soul to be able to find peace and happiness within themselves, no matter if your body is shown to millions of people or if you're just an average human being like me. Being insecure is a normal feeling, but you don't have to let those insecurities be who you are. Romy. Other than having the most beautiful smile I've ever seen in my entire life, she's actually been a YouTuber that I've been following for a while. She's just so calm and happy and loves eating and cooking and her lifestyle and relationship with food just seems so wholesome and true to who she is. She has a lot of what I eat in a day, but she often has oatmeal, so for breakfast, that's exactly what we did. I never sprinkle cinnamon on top of my oats, but Romy does, and it looked intriguing, so I did it, and now I'm a huge fan of the cinnamon sprinkle. Oh, so good. oh you like the peanut butter? For lunch, we had avocado toast. She has lots of fancy ingredients that she uses that I didn't even know existed, so we didn't do that. But it was still very delicious. Yeah, which flavor should I have? She has fruit and almonds for a snack, which you know has your sugar, carbs, protein, and healthy fat, so instead, I had a built bar. This is the winner. I literally eat these every single day. Pre-workout, post-workout, for dessert, after dessert, when I have a sweet tooth. Literally so perfect for any and every occasion. This bar has 19 grams of protein. Like, it tastes like a chocolate cake. Like, who doesn't want to eat a protein bar that tastes like a chocolate cake? It's absolutely crazy. So this is what you should do. Use the link in my description to get 20% off your purchase. And there are 18 flavors to choose from. Get it open, microwave it for 15 seconds, play with the gooey chocolate, and then take it later. Amazing. Oh, did we see that huge brownie already? What's the worst pain you've ever been in? This. <laughs> worse than breaking your arm? Yeah. Isn't like tennis elbow usually from like sports? It's golfer's elbow. Find it's a higher risk <laughs> drop. <laughs> <laughs> For dinner and one of her What I Eat In A Day videos, she ate a meal from HelloFresh and I was like, I am an avid HelloFresh user, this is perfect. I'm in love with HelloFresh, I have a crush on HelloFresh, I'm not sponsored by them, but they literally taste better than any restaurant, so I'm really glad Romy likes them too. Anyways, I just want to give Romy a huge thanks for a delicious day. I love how she just really tries to focus on having a balanced lifestyle and diet and really experiences life without restricting herself. It's so tender. Ooh. It's time for me. Every time mommy says nine, you know it's shit. So we picked three of her own workouts from her YouTube channel and I really went into this thinking it was going to be easy, like low intensity, no sweat type of workout, but then the sweat and the pain were actually quite aggressive and it took me by surprise. I mean, Victoria's Secret models literally compare themselves to Olympic athletes, you know, I wouldn't exactly say this workout was Olympic level, but I, I do see what they mean. Surprisingly, very difficult. Bella spends a lot of time at the gym. She trains for two to three hours at a time. I, I literally think I would die. Her workout consists of going for a 20 minute run, a boxing session, and a weightlifting session. So I did one hour of weights and ran until I ran into my parents walking my dog and I just couldn't feel my legs anymore. So I stopped, but yeah. Bella is absolutely crazy. <laughs> However, because she does work out for like three freaking hours, she allows herself to have a very flexible diet. Working out three hours a day to allow yourself to eat the foods that you love is also just slightly concerning, but you know, it works for her. She's enjoying life. Just remember, you do not have to work out for three hours to eat a bagel, okay? You can just eat the bagel if you want the bagel. Apparently, her go-to breakfast is an egg sandwich with a plain bagel, like a real fluffy large bagel. Like, she doesn't go for the skinny or gluten-free bagels, which I really do respect. And again, like every other Victoria's Secret model, she has salmon or chicken and veggies. It honestly seems like a trend here. She also said she orders a lot of green juices, and honestly, I wouldn't expect her not to. She is Bella Hadid. Because I said this tasted really bad. Oh dear. That's the worst thing I've ever drank in my entire life. That's absolutely horrible. Man, this is so good. 
Bella said if she could eat one meal for the rest of her life, it would be pasta. And honestly, same. She also said if you want to have a piece of bread, go have a piece of bread. And it's freaking true. Restricting yourself no matter what your goal is, weight loss, just trying to be healthy, trying to eat like Victoria's Secret models for a week. If your body is telling you to feed it something, learn to listen. Restricting, saying no, depriving will only make you want the bread more. All foods can be incorporated into a diet no matter what your goals are. No foods have to be bad foods. So just go eat that piece of bread. I'm quite nervous, not gonna lie, it's been said that Adriana is known as a Victoria's Secret angel who has a most extreme diet and exercise plan. Apparently, she only consumes liquids for a week prior to the Victoria's Secret show and doesn't drink or eat anything 12 hours prior to the show. Um, Adriana is said to train like a professional boxer getting ready for a fight when she's getting ready for the Victoria's Secret show. Scary. 80% um, of Adriana's workouts actually consist of boxing or high intensity cardio, so what do we do? Caroline Gervin, of course. Adriana exercises excessively and she admits that. She says she's always at the gym and if she's not at the gym, she's working out in her bedroom. Yeah, that just reminds me of a very unhealthy time in my life. But her mentality to working out is actually quite similar to mine. She likes to sweat a lot in tense workouts. She works out for at least six days a week, sometimes every day and sometimes twice per day. The thing is, if you want to look like a Victoria's Secret model, people say you gotta train like one too, but working out just as hard as she does and pushing your body and boxing like a professional will not make make you look like her or turn you into a professional boxer or angel. Remember, there isn't only one way to lead a healthy life. And Adriana's diet, well, it's also scary healthy. Apparently, she always eats six meals per day and drinks two liters of water. Mm. Breakfast was oatmeal, so I'm pretty happy there. And of course, she drinks a protein shake for her morning snack. Like, I'm, I'm not surprised. That's very concerning. I've never drank protein. Oh no. It's actually not bad. It's not like amazing. It's not like I'm gonna throw up. Lunch is a, you know, typical chicken breast, brown rice, and vegetable situation, of course. Afternoon snack was carrot sticks, celery sticks, and nuts, so I had a built bar instead. As you can see, this is going really well for me. And for a night snack, Adriana says her buckwheat beverage helps her with digestion and metabolism and she says it satisfies her cravings for sweets and I don't know how it does that and I just also don't know how to eat buckwheat so I tried to make it like an oatmeal bowl situation and it just it wasn't was that disgusting. and it was not awesome. Yeah. No. No. I'm assuming Kendall Jenner doesn't really need an introduction, it's Kendall Jenner everyone, and I've never been a Kardashian fan, but I've always been quite fond of Kendall and Kylie. I don't know why. Anyways, Kendall's a hater of cardio and running, and I couldn't agree more, but she usually just sucks it up and does it, so we just did some hit weights and looked super cute while doing it, as you can see. why but i was really shocked by kendall's diet she says for breakfast specifically she loves avocado over eggs accompanied by a big bowl of oatmeal very weird combo and i'm never doing it again So like at this point, I just never, ever, ever want to have lean chicken, brown rice, and veggies ever again. Like ever. <laughs> However, her favorite snack is frozen yogurt, which I have to say made me extremely very, very happy. But of course, I also added brownies to it, which made it just 5,000 times better. Kendall's dinner is either pasta, pizza, or sushi. She says she loves everything and anything unhealthy. Yay! Uncle Kendall's dinner. You're not dominant enough. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm very careful. 
So like, I'm always like thinking about what if she divorces. I'm so called careful, so trust issues. Nothing is wrong with cheating a little bit and treating yourself to something sweet. Life's too short. Yeah, it's a good message, but I feel like every influencer or famous person says that nowadays. Who knows if she's telling the truth? Who knows if she eats pizza, fried chicken, and pasta every night? We are at a moment in time where people no longer support unrealistic diets, starvation, and people are sensitive to diet talk, to body positivity talk, to literally any talk. So models and influencers have to censor and lie about a lot of personal things to not be personally attacked, especially when it comes to topics like size, weight, food, and calories. But honestly, I think we're going in the right direction. You know how plastic straws and bags have been like shunned by society? I feel like with enough people who preach body positivity, they aren't going to keep and have kind of stopped supporting a brand that isn't aligned with the times. I read somewhere that we should hope to see the lingerie industry reborn and use its power and influence to encourage diversity and a world where food is nourishment and exercise is for well-being, not punishment. A place where women can give themselves a break for once and enjoy being good enough exactly as they are, and honestly, that gives me hope. I no longer hate Victoria's Secret fashion shows because I've learned to be proud of what my own body can do. When comparison can be turned into inspiration, I think that was a turning point for me. When you learn to love who you are, you stop feeling bad for yourself and you start recognizing your own beauty and being okay with other people's beauty too. I hope you guys can remember that you are enough as you are, and I want you to know that you don't need to change for anyone.